Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today's video is going to be covering what to do during a market lull. So a market lull in CSGO is something that's going to happen every now and then as with any cyclical market that you're going to be able to invest in. Essentially a lull is just a time where there's not really anything majorly increasing and this is definitely happening right now with CSGO. If you look on certain markets like Buff for example, they have their recent gainers over the last 30 days or so and as you can see the price increases are just not that crazy. So we're definitely in a lull right now and this video is going to tell you what to do during one of those. The sponsor for today's video is csmoney.com. In the past I wasn't really a big believer of the site. I thought their rates weren't that good and they didn't really have an idea of how to do certain pricing but they actually have been improving quite a lot recently and they've taken on some experienced members from the community like Fat Metal to price check items like Blue Gem knives and give them appropriately increased prices. They've also been doing better with stickered item prices which is a really good thing to see and it's nice to see that they're actually improving things. And because of these improvements and what I can see for the future of the site, I do think that I can endorse them now. So CS Money has a store mode and a trade mode. Basically the difference between these is the store mode is going to give you cheaper prices, but you're going to have to use real money in order to buy the skins. And the trade mode is just going to be trading your own skins for on-site skins that the CS Money actually has available. The prices for these are going to be different because real cash has more value than just skin prices, but that is how it essentially works. They're good trade bots and I've not really had any issues with them in the past. The only issues that I have had, I've been able to clear up with support really quickly, so that was really Really nice to see so I really do think it's a good thing about the site they also have a huge inventory of items probably with the biggest inventory out of any trade bot out there and that's really nice to see as well because they have a ton of really cool stickered items and very good high tier items as well that you don't tend to see on other sites it's really simple to trade items on the site you basically just choose what you want to trade and then choose what CS money has that you want and then you can go ahead and do an automated trade which is very simple fast and easy to do you also have the option of depositing money on there, which they actually give you a deposit bonus for, which they also give you a deposit bonus for, and around holidays, they actually give you an even bigger deposit bonus, so it is actually worth to try that out in some scenarios. If you wanna check out CS Money, go to the link in the description below. Thanks. So a lull on a market is pretty self-explanatory. Basically, it's when items are sort of a straight line graph rather than an incline or a decline. So sort of just a time where the market is not really going too far up or too far down. It's kind of sitting in a nice middle area. Now, this is pretty nice and it's kind of relaxing because you don't really have to worry about trying to find the next big investment or you don't have to worry about your items going down in price too crazy. So it's sort of a nice little time to sort of catch your bearings and figure out what your next move is. That's the glass half full way to see it, of course. Other people kind of see it as sort of a dead market, even though in reality, things aren't really declining so there's not really a case for it being dead. Hopefully this video will serve as a good general guide to what you should do during a lull in the market to kind of make things not seem so dead and kind of give you an idea of what you can do for the future. Let's start by looking at the current marketplace and then we'll move on to sort of a general guide to the future of the market and how you can kind of figure out good little areas to invest into when there's a lull going on so this guide can be applicable to right now and to the future. Not to rehash too much but I do think you should really be looking at those Dignitas Cologne 2016 stickers. I already talked about those like twice or three times even so far, but I really do think that you should keep an eye on them as they did rise in the previous manipulation that happened last year, and I do think they're still going to see a rise this year as well because the manipulation that we just saw was so calculated and specific that I think there will be a second wave just like there was the previous year. Now as for when the second wave is actually going to happen, that is a little bit more contested, but I would say that it's probably going to happen sometime at the end of July or into August as that is about a month after the second wave was last year, which is a pretty solid projection considering that the first wave that we had this year was about a month late. If the second wave generates hype there will be more rises aside from the Digitas stickers but we'll get there when that happens because we don't even know if a second wave is actually going to happen it's just a projection as I said before. Other than that though that about sums up the short term if you want some more information on this whole Digitas thing then I've made a few videos already kind of going over it so you can go ahead and watch those previous videos and you should be able to get a better understanding of that whole idea. All right now on to a general guide for a lull in the market basically what you should do when there's a lull and there isn't a short-term plan. So the nice thing about a lull is that it gives you time to collect your thoughts. And one of the important things to do once that's available to you is to figure out what you want to sell. There is going to be some things that you've made profit on that have pulled back a little bit or sort of normalized that you are able to sell at the normalized price and still make a pretty good profit on. So that's the first thing that you should do when you see a lull in the market is kind of analyze your inventory, figure out what you want to sell, and then you can move forward from there. Now you don't necessarily have to sell anything, but it is an option and it is a fairly good time to do so. Now onto the more interesting part, what to buy into. Now the important thing here with a lull in the market is to understand the context of the lull, how long a lull is actually going to last. For example, the current lull that we're in is probably not going to be broken up until the winter area unless there is that second manipulation wave, as I stated before. If there's a second manipulation 
valuation wave that could drive hype across the market to sort of bring it back up and keep it going to even higher prices. But if that projection is false, then we're probably not going to see any major increases up until winter time. It's also important to understand that lulls in the market can also be broken by declines in price, which is possible but is more unlikely for CSGO. The only thing that could really cause some major declines is if there's a lot less interest in the game. But I think that the current Chinese coffers are so large that even if there was a decline in interest in the game, it really wouldn't affect the market in a negative way too much. So basically when we get into a lull, figure out how long that lull is actually going to last, and that's going to give you a better idea of what items are going to be good to buy. And if it seems more likely that a lull is going to be followed by a decline in prices, then obviously it's probably a good time to sell instead of buy. The graphic up on screen basically describes these current scenarios that I'm talking about. Okay, so what if a lull lasts for a super, super long time and there's not really any end in sight? The best thing to do in this case is to buy something like a knife, a really good solid knife that you can just hold on to and gain passive profit off of. Knives are one of the best, safest gainers in the market because they're just seen as a cultural icon at this current point. And so even if there is less interest in the game and some prices seem to be on more of a decline, knives will usually tend to still be pretty good. I actually recently updated my knife investing guide, so if you want any information on that, that's all going to be contained in that video. So that's absolute worst case scenario, the longest lull you can possibly imagine. That's basically going to be remedied by buying a good, solid overtime gainer like a knife. Other than that, you're just going to want to focus on figuring out what the next big event that's going to cause a break in the lull is going to be. So for example, for us, it's the winter sale, which would mean that the best thing to buy into is probably going to be liquids that a lot of people tend to go for and buy in sort of cheaper inventories. This is because Christmas is usually a time where kids tend to spend a lot of money on Steam, especially on skins. So if you're buying into stuff like Frontside Misties, AK Red Lines, things in that sort of area, those tend to do pretty good around that time and give you a decent amount of profits. It's hard to figure out what the best item for ROI is going to be during the winter time, but the Red Line is usually a safe bet for a small profit. There's also a discussion about the Major, but a lot of that is very tentative right now, and so it's kind of hard to say. If there is a Major, though, before Christmas time rolls around, then obviously that will then obviously that will definitely break the current lull that we're in, and that's going to cause a bigger focus on stickers. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And that's really everything you need to know about lulls in the CSGO marketplace. Basically, just figure out what you want to go ahead and sell as the first step, and then after you figure that out, figure out what the context of the lull is, how long it's going to last, figure out the next big market event that's probably going to break the lull, and then invest accordingly. And in the worst case scenario where the lull just lasts forever and there's no real major event to really break it for a long time, then the best option is going to be a slow moving small gainer like a knife. Anyway, that's going to end it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching guys and thanks for all the support. If you guys want to go ahead and check out my Discord server and Twitter, links in the description below that's going to get you connected to a nice little community of CSGO investors that you, that you can definitely trust. And if you want to go ahead and also check out the CS Money link if you want to use their trade bot and check out some of the skins they have available, that's also going to be in the description below. Thanks again guys, be sure to click that subscribe button for the best investment tips anywhere else on YouTube for CSGO, and I'll see you next time. Peace.